Okay, now we're going to look at another smart trigger type. This one is called pattern. So first, let me input, we've got channel 1 and channel 2 operating now. So let me put in another couple of arbitrary waveforms. So for the pattern trigger type, we want to compare two different waveforms. So let's adjust these two so we can get them centered in there so we can see them. Okay, good. Looks good. Now let's stop it and have a closer look here. Let's zoom in a bit. Okay. Now, as you can see, there are three true results here if we're using AND logic. Okay. So what we want to do is have a closer look. So let's adjust our cursor and measure the width of these. Let's slide it over here and measure the first true result. Okay, so that looks like it's about, I don't know, let's say 100, 104, somewhere around 100 sounds good. And this, let's go to the next one. And it's just about the same, so call it 100 again. And then let's go to the third one. Now this one's quite a bit larger, so we need to adjust our X2 cursor. And it looks like it's more like 200. It says 192, so 200's a good estimate. So we have two smaller ones at 100 and one larger one, one wider one at 200. So what we need to do is change a few settings. So let's go to our pattern trigger type. Okay, good. Channel 1, yeah, set it to high. Channel 2, set it to high, okay. The logic, and, good. The limit range, greater than. So that means we need to be greater than 100 if we want it triggered at the wider uh, true result. Okay, so let's. Set that. Voltage good, okay. Now let's set the time to around something a little over 100 should be fine. 100 microseconds. Slowly getting there. Almost there. Okay, and now you can see we are triggered right at the wider one. Okay, so there you have it. That's the pattern trigger type. We triggered right where we wanted to.